you guys see this thing on over under win totals in the Pac-12? <laughs> Did you guys see these numbers? Let me let me ask you something. Do you see Colorado all the way at the bottom? Their over under win total is three. Then how are they plus 30,000 to win the college football playoff title? <laughs> and how is 8% of the money coming in on Colorado? It's the cowboy hat, bro. All hat, no cattle. That's yeah. what this is. That look at that look at that graphic. Colorado is now plus 30,000 to win the college football playoff title and 8% of the money coming into Vegas Pick on the college away. On the college football title <laughs> is on Colorado to win. Victor's the way. Dion's the way. Victor's the way. <laughs> Who's the idiot? Victor's the way. That's betting money. <laughs> and I'm being serious. Bro. Colorado is plus 30,000 and 8% of the cash is coming in. Yes. 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 On Colorado. Okay. Now. I am a noted slurper of Deion Sanders. I'm a big fan of what my guy's doing up at Colorado. I'm not a big fan to the point of plus $30,000 lines, dude. Which means bet 100, win 30,000. If they win it all. So you you have very little to lose, right? Like you have you have very little to lose. Well, and the thing is, is Vegas has lots to lose, obviously. And this that's is why, oh yeah, dude. that's why I think there's so much money coming in on because it is so rare. I, like think about it. When's the last time you saw a line this size? Like, and I know, I, like, there's no way in year one they're winning a national championship that's not happening right like just it's just not but but the idea and i and i hope people understand this the idea that the hype machine is this good it's this big is incredible to me do you guys understand that this is the number one liability in vegas right now and i'm not exaggerating yeah the number one liability in las vegas is this guy right here that's a fact dude Deion Sanders Best. at plus 30,000 is the riskiest bet for Vegas. Yes. I'm for real. Now, let's be honest. And I don't care what he looks like and how I'm much real. or how little hair Deion has on his chest in this picture. He's not winning the college football championship. Please. So you're throwing your money away. Yeah, but it's so little money. But this is the impact this dude has had. Let me ask you this. For all, for all you people out there in, in the great state of Utah, who have positions because we don't gamble in this state. Other. Yeah, exactly, right? So we don't we don't gamble in this state. We have positions. So for all you out there who have positions, how do you not? Even myself who hates gambling, <laughs> I've considered putting the hundred dollars on it. How do you not? How do you not, guy, bro? You are the also the guy that farts out diamonds who won't spend money on anything <laughs> and, and you're considering <laughs> God, what did I do to you? What did I do to you, sir, ma'am, or whatever you are? Like, what did I? Oh. Hello, Moses. Are you here to part the sea for Dion? <laughs> like, what did I do to you that you won't even bet on a golf hole with me, but you'll go spend $100 on Dion Sanders? Yeah, dude. Who they hurt you? Reset. Who hurt you? Dude. You're willing to speak. Get the fuck. Like, no. You... The way. No. no, he's not. There's the way. <laughs> And then there's this mess. Can we look at these over-unders, please, real quick? Dude. Who wrote this stuff? My first problem is SC. How is it not 10? That 9.5 is a garbage line for SC. How are you not having a 10? I'm just telling you now that I think there's a real good chance, and God bless you, Utah. I am telling you now that I think there's a real good chance USC is going undefeated. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not going to be popular, and I know that's going to piss people off. But here's their schedule. San Jose State, Nevada, Stanford. At Arizona State, at Colorado, Arizona. At Notre Dame, Utah. At Cal, Washington. At Oregon, which is their only danger game, in my opinion. And then they're home for USC. And I think Lincoln Riley is good enough to go undefeated, and I think he will. So I would go over. Now, Oregon, on the other hand, I think Oregon is a very interesting is a very interesting situation their schedule is cake bro portland state at texas tech hawaii colorado they're 
Stanford 5 and 0 at Washington 6 and 0. Washington State 7 and 0. Their one real danger road game at Utah. What's the, what's the line we have on this for Oregon? Oregon over under wins is nine and a half. That's still nine and a half. Yep. I'm telling you that's over because they're winning double digit games. Yeah. Washington under. I don't I think Washington's gonna be a five hundred football team this year. Utah over eight and a half. I think Utah's gonna lose one game and it's to those three letters in LA. Yeah. Uh, Oregon State over, Washington State over, Arizona under, ASU under, Cal over, Colorado over. Uh, you think you don't think ASU is over five? No, I don't. Have you looked at ASU's schedule? Yeah. Do you? I mean, oh, look. you can get them. Uh, just checking updated lines, you can get them at four and a half. ASU that is available to you now. Southern they Utah. Here, here's their schedule. Yeah. Southern Utah, Win. Oklahoma State loss, Fresno State. Win. USC loss. So they've they're two and two right there. Yeah. At Cal. Win. I think no, that's a loss. Oh, come on. Dude, come on. They're gonna lose to Cal. Cal is okay. Come on. Colorado at win. home. Win. Okay, four wins. Four and two. At Washington. Loss. Washington State. Win. Loss. At at Utah. Loss. At UCLA. Loss. At Oregon. Loss. Or home for Oregon. Loss. Home for Arizona. Win. You think they're going to five and four? They're not beat. They're not. They're not beating Arizona. Arizona's Arizona's a much improved team. See, you only exist to piss me off. <laughs> oh, Victor's the way. You only exist Victor's to piss the way. You, you only exist <laughs> to piss me the off. Way, baby. You Victor's only exist. No, no, no. He's Victor's not. Victor's the way. No, no, he's not. No, I don't no, care when anyone in the comments says to say that's funny stuff. That is funny. Not as funny as the Taco Grande pizza with olives. Hi. I'm Kylie, and I make fresh, delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Uh, hi, I'm Zach, and I make the Papa Murphy's pizza. Sure, if that's take and bake. We built it with the freshest ingredients. You bake it fresh in your oven. By you, you mean me, so technically, I make the pizza. Super good pizza, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, so good. Right now, enjoy big time taco flavors on a pizza with the limited time taco grande. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Make sure you use the promo code MONTY25 to get 25% off your purchase of $25 or more at Papa Murphy's Pizza. MONTY25. Download the Papa Murphy's app or get online at PapaMurphy'sPizza.com. Let's see what some of you guys think. Kurt Peters. Hi, Kurt. Good to see you, dude. Prime still working that portal. He is. Ron McClure. How the heck are you? Utah will surprise again third time... The bell. Uh, I look at Utah's schedule, and I think that one loss at USC. Mm -hmm. Florida, win. At Baylor, win. Weber, win. UCLA, win. At Oregon State, touch and go, but that's a win. Cal, win. At SC's a loss. Oregon, win. Arizona State's a win at Washington, at Arizona. Those are wins in Colorado at the end of the year. Oh, Coach Prime. All hat, no cattle. There's the way. All hat, no cattle. Mm -hmm. That's a win for Utah. That's a win for Utah. I think they're 13 and one. By the end of the year, I think they'll be got, 13 that, and is one. Is that, uh, they'll be eight be, and one. That's got to be, dude, if you're 13 and one, that's got to be top four in the college football. Playoffs. I think you're close. You got to be. You're certainly close. top five. The problem is, I don't have a handle on how good Oregon's going to be. Because yeah, I tough. just, I still don't believe that Bo's Knicks is going to be that good. I don't. I can't believe it's two years in a row. Monty Rant says Colorado will beat Utah on their way to national championship. Victor's the way. Okay. Uh, Saul Goodman, Utah eight and three. <sighs> who are they gonna? Who are they gonna lose to? Three three games. Florida. They're kicking the crap out of Florida. That's at Rice Eccles awesomeness. At Baylor, I think Utah's better than Baylor. Weber, nah, bro. UCLA, not at Rice Eccles. That's gonna be a night game. Uh, at Oregon State, okay, that's a tough one. Okay, let's say that's two losses. Cal at SC, of course. Home for Oregon, you're not losing Oregon at Rice Eccles. No. Arizona State, nah, bro. Washington, I nah, think I Utah's think better. Win. Yeah, that's a win. Utah's dude. better than Washington. Yeah. Arizona and Colorado, nah, dude. I think two max. I think they're going to lose one game. I think they are going to lose one game. Yeah. I mean, you don't have the team. I mean, you got Braden Daniels drafted like. Dude, they're good. They're deep. They're talented. They're well coached. Yeah. I, I, I can't see him losing three. Mapes, what's up, Mike Maples? Oh, I'm sorry. Did we interrupt your life? 
I'm kidding. Mapes, Utah loses at least one game every season to a team they should roll. Well, you ain't wrong about that. You ain't wrong about that. Yeah. Shooter, Texas. Utah going to be shocked when they lose to Baylor. Going to be fun. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I think the Baylor game is one of those physical <laughs> games where you pick up some injuries. I think that's the minimum. I don't think you lose to them. But but again, I think this other question, dude, Cam Rising is a big question mark right now. And I think we can't mm. forget that, dude. Like, I, And I'm not saying they don't have anything behind them because they definitely do. But I just think it's not. Dude, Buddy's leg is not in good shape right now. We'll see. We'll see. Make sure you hit the like button, guys. Uh, 56 minutes to go in the show. We need uh, about 56 likes would be amazing. If we could get to 250 by the end of the show, God bless you, friends. Uh, John Dry, Oregon loses to Tech in Hub City by 21. Stop. Come on, man. Victor's the way. Come on, man. Uh, Carlos Knuckles. Knuckles. Carlos. Uh, Monty in world ranking. Stanford is tied for number three. Cal is at number eight, UCLA 21, Michigan 23, and Northwestern Washington are 26. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Uh, the eye patch, Utah beats SC at the Coliseum 49-45. See, and that's that what I think the X factor is because Utah is capable of that. Well, the other thing is Utah's got three quarterbacks that can play. CKS, a three-peat is a, is a huge if Utah for sure not been done in the Pac-12, uncertainty on Cam could be too much this year for Utah. Mm -hmm. It is doable. Go Tigers! Surprise, Oregon State goes 10-2. and two. Really possible, dude. That home field advantage is legit and in Corvallis. I think, dude, I think this Big 12 Oregon State connection, Oregon State's got something to play for, man. John Dry, Oregon loses to Tech and Hub City by 21. Never going to happen. Jet Wayman, the tile king of Utah. I agree. Ute's going to be go 13 and 1 or 14 and 0. I I would agree with that. Truck stop Gumby. Them's fighting words. Okay. Gary says eight and a half for Utah is disrespect. Agreed. Yes, it is. Agreed. I take the over on that every day, every day, easy money. Yes, I would agree. I mean, if you're going to have uh, SC you know. at nine and a half, certainly Utah's got to be at nine. Uh, Mike Maples. Oh, yeah. Miss me, friends. I did miss you, Mapes. Where you been? Uh, Y'all ain't ghosted yet. Okay, good. Uh, Baylor D line will be difference in the Utah game. Major disruption coming with Gabe Hall and TJ Franklin. That Could Utah be, offensive dude. line, but yeah, Utah always finishes well but stumbles early. That's why Baylor has a realistic shot. You ain't wrong. Monty Rant. Utah is getting Victor in the transfer portal and will beat USC. Victor's the way. I'm um, from what I understand, he's a phenomenal tight end. Phenomenal. Michael Peck, Baylor is no slouch, but Utah is better. Depends on what Utah team decides to show up. Totally yeah. agree, bro. It's on the road. Uh, truck stop Gumby. Texas Tech greater than uh, Oklahoma? You, Oregon? Oregon? Oregon, I think. He does mean Oregon. Yeah. I don't know. Because like, Oklahoma's OU. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I look at that Tech game. It's September 9th. Early season game. It's in Lubbock. Warm. Bo's Knicks. I, I have a hard time seeing Oregon losing that game. I know they lost a lot of talent. But I have a hard time seeing them lose that game. Soft person Tennessee. Yeah. In all seriousness, like I look at the I look at I look at where they fall. They're probably How good is Texas? How good is Texas? I mean uh... They're good, but they're not some amazing team, man. I mean, they're beatable for sure. You know, I think it is the biggest question about Oregon is going to be Bo Nix. He has another new offensive coordinator because Dillingham left. Um, but Dan Lanning did a phenomenal job there. You know, like I, I just – Will Stein's a good, good quarterback or a good offensive coordinator, but that's a new system. You know, like I, I look at, you know, Treshawn Holden from Alabama, I think is going to be a must. That's a guy that they've, they've relied heavily on. But I also look at, at Washington, and I think Washington is probably, I, I don't see them being the same 11 and 2 they were. I don't. And I, I know that Michael Penix Jr. is back, and everybody likes to get naked with Crisco when they hear that name, but. That was probably too much. <laughs> um, I, I know. I. <laughs> 
Crisco olive oil. Who's counting? Same I mean, come thing. On, you know, like, and now you can get That's olive right, oil dude. in a spray can. Yeah, like, I mean, come on. It dude. just makes your life easier. It's a cleaner process. You know. Um, let's see. Gary says, uh, Oregon may be our blackout game. Well, better be. Can't hate nobody dropping that ball in a two yard. Yeah, I mean, line. what are Oregon fans going to do now that they can't drop, uh, you know, Mormon bombs on BYU? I don't know. Kurt Peters says, I use Pam. <laughs> no, it's nonstick. <laughs> lower, Fat. Lower, Fat. lower flash point, too. Fat. A little more friction. Quote, lower flash point. <laughs> <laughs> DeLambo, Victor's ankles are so small, he'd break them playing pickleball. Victor's the way. Rick, that drop is going to get worn the fuck out. I guarantee it. <laughs> Rick Forrester. So all the Pac-12 schools are beating all the Big 12 schools. I think there's a good chance of that. You, I mean, listen, we can have any of the arguments you want. The Pac-12 was far better than anybody expected in football last year. And I don't even know that you have to make much of an argument to say the Pac-12 was a better football conference last year. Yeah. Until Chaboam in Stillwater gets his head out of his ass. Stillwater. And really what I should say is instill he gets the mullet out and mm-hmm. starts winning football games. I'm a man. Because, again, the real question here is, can Kansas do what Kansas did last year? I mean, I'm a believer in K-State. I think. TCU inarguably, but what is Texas this year? Can anybody really say that Texas in November is top five teams in the country? No. Um, because no. I, I have a real question about that. I, cause I think, I think Texas one good luck replacing B. John Robinson. Like mm-hmm. that's going to be incredibly difficult. Um, I mean, you've lost talent in this year's draft. There's no doubt. I mean, and, and I think, Obviously, you lose mm. talent every year, but but Bijan is is special. I mean, you're getting nine guys back on offense, and you're yeah. not starting Manning. You better win, because I also think that this is it for Sark, and I think that that defense at Texas is coming for you nuts. Like that defense is that defense is coming. That that's going to be an aggressive hitting. Good luck. You're going to need an orthopedic surgeon after the Texas game. Mm-hmm. I think that's what they're going to be defensively. Yeah. The offense had better put out. Because if the offense doesn't put out for Texas, Sarkeesian's going to lose his job. Yeah. Oh, and, what a loser. And frankly, if, if Texas disappoints again, shouldn't Sark lose his job? Yes. I think he probably should. It's final. Right? Yeah, he should. I mean, they, they, that's a program that needs to win. Taylor Gilstrap. Texas Tech is looking ready to reload and shoot like they are living in the early 2000s. We're talking about football, right? Uh, Oregon is going to get embarrassed. I don't think that. I don't think they're. Mm, I don't think so. Big upset will be Houston beats Texas in Houston. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. By the way, has anybody paid attention to hook em, bro? Has anybody looked at Texas's schedule? Rice, who we all know is a you know little sc- anyway. Rice at Alabama, Wyoming at Baylor. <laughs> no, I thought he said. So wait, your first <laughs> month. Bro, you're going to Tuscaloosa. You're going to Waco. Waco. Home for Kansas, the shootout at Houston on October 21st. Oh, by the way, did I mention that you got to go to TCU and to Iowa State? (coughs) And listen, I know those kids don't prepare well in Ames because they're always in the sports books betting on sports. I should probably stop with that. Hey, you're not wrong, though. But my point is... That, that's a, not an easy schedule. You're so fucked. So Texas's schedule. Rice at Bama, Wyoming at Baylor, Kansas, Oklahoma at Houston, BYU, Kansas State at TCU at Iowa State, Texas Tech. Good luck. I'm Shiva, the god of death. So let me get this right. On one schedule, you've got at Baylor, <laughs> at Baylor, at Houston, at TCU, home for Texas Tech. Well, thank God you gave us a, a, a home game against Texas Tech at DKR. <laughs> Jesus. For the love of all things sacramental and stuff. In God's name, image, and likeness. Right. Good luck. Oh, you said Manning's not starting? Oh, Arch will be in there. Know home- your role and shut your mouth. You're going to have like seven dead bodies on the field after Alabama. Who's, mm. by the way, Anybody that thinks that Nick Saban's not looking for day air. Oh, buddy's coming, dude. Yeah, you tell he's tired dude. of hearing about Georgia. Dude. And he's tired of hearing about last year in in, in you know, 
Austin and Finally. Texas and oh, how come broken. how come bro I broke my back no nah, man you're not leaving you're not leaving you're not leaving Tuscaloosa intact I will chain you to a pipe you know yeah you know uh where's McCluskey been which team gets the most preseason hype and never lives up to it USC or Texas Colorado Texas. Te- <laughs> okay well this year this year it's Col- well Victor's no the way. Victor Wamanyama Victor's the way uh Colorado by far but I think Texas every single year yeah outside Although I will say before Lincoln got there SC is legit that's a legit point yeah uh the optimist BYU is ranked way ahead of my Utah Utes in every university academic ranking service we should run to the Big 12 before we end up back in the Mountain West go Utes I think you're being <clears throat> sarcastic. Uh, Michael Peck, Colorado. <laughs> Seriously, Peck. Victor's the way. Greg Hawkins. Notre Dame is the most overhyped team year over year. Texas is a close second. Notre Dame has not been hyped since, you know. Since someone got Manti Teo'd. Yeah, Manti Teo'd. God's since, name, you know, image, and likeness. Since, you know, Lene Kakua or whoever. Don't you know who I am? Since she tragically passed, Notre Dame has not been hyped, you know. Texas is no victor, but they'll do. Victor's the way. He walked into a Papa Murphy's and said, I don't need Monty's code because Victor's the way. Victor's the way. Legend. Stop it, Dan. I'm a huge Notre Dame fan. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Victor's the way. Do you know how much of a lie that movie is, by the way? You must know that. Uh, all right, a couple more. Carlos Knuckles says Washington is a better team than last year, and Utah loses to Washington as well. Okay. Victor's the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never let you put that in. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have said that either. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Oh, I should have never let you put that in. <laughs> 